Hello and welcome to a great cryptocurrency technical analysis video that I have for you today where I am going to be covering the very important support and resistance levels here on the Bitcoin chart using this shark harmonic pattern which is you know tr traded very perfectly to be honest uh, and then I would like to go over Icon ICX which is the number one altcoin recently you know for the last few weeks now it has been the number one altcoin to be trading uh, today up another 15% so I would really like to cover that one for you all um, and I would end the video uh, just covering what I mentioned in the video two days ago just for a bit of conclusion for myself uh, so I hope that you do thoroughly enjoy this one it's going to be good and let's start here on the local chart okay so what, what do we see here this is obviously our shark harmonic which has you know played out pretty beautifully uh, this is one that I recognize sending to my group over uh, you know, actually one week ago today so one week ago today while we were at the lows looking for the rise up here to the weekly level and that is exactly what we have had okay so we have had this rise up to the weekly um so this for me is a very 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 big resistance level okay it's not only targets okay so people that have been buying you know from all down here this is going to be a big target because of the level it is okay it was old support flip to resistance so it's it's already historically been a very important level and it's you know it's coming back into it now so one does it expect a rejection at these levels okay and we obviously you know arguably we've seen the rejection so let's just bear in mind for a any bullish scenario now you need to claim 9600 as support okay that does not mean just wicking above it it means actually closing above it on a high time frame level okay if you claim 9600 I, I foresee a rise to 10,000 being fairly swift okay 10,000 I, I do believe is fairly swift and at the end of the day I would. I'm, I'm still in it for this for the three drives pattern. To be honest with you all, uh, which is obviously 11k. This was one that I've been trading well, really from down around the seven thousands. Okay. And uh, yeah, 11k on that, and that's kind of funny that I put put this in. But yeah, that's that's my overall. Well, I'm looking for 11k on a, a bigger term time frame. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is this is for me the, the key resistance. And honestly, there's that one resistance that I feel is really key. So resistance is not too big for me at the moment. Like 9,600, if you claim that, I think we can push to, to to 10K. We all know the psychological level that 10K has been on Bitcoin, okay? So it's it's been a psychological level for a long time where we see a lot of price, you know, hitting it and rejecting, hitting it and rejecting, then holding it, flipping it as support. So, you know, you've got to trade that really sensibly to 10K and then see how it goes from 10K if you claim 9,600 as support, okay? Okay. The flip side is that we don't. Okay, maybe you see something like this again, or either we just fall down from here, or you come back up again, you test it and it holds as resistance, and then you get a bigger sell-off. Either way, if they, either of those scenarios play out, uh, you do have well, nine thousand uh, three hundred is is a support level. Okay, and that is currently holding. But uh, let's talk about larger support levels. So you had nine thousand three hundred. But on a lower level, you're obviously looking at the monthly 9,150. And then for me, around 8,850, you know, this 8,850 to 8,700 being the weekly. This old parallel channel, as we all know, has been very important. So for me, the... Yeah, I must say that the, the you know the real big support for me is eight thousand eight hundred and fifty, and then your real big resistance is going to be uh, nine thousand you know nine thousand six hundred. So it's quite a range here. But I do you know want to say you know I'm not a financial advisor, so you know don't kind of listen to me, I suppose. But um, you know in my opinion, you want to be a bit careful here. You are at a major resistance. You could just wait for this resistance to be claimed as support before trading aggressively long, or alternatively waiting for the for a drop. Because you know trading at nine three hundred is 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 not the best trade. You are literally in the middle of this range from high to low. You're, you're going to be sat around the 0.5 fib. So it's a little bit of a dangerous trade for you know to open a trade here long or short. I don't feel is a good trade. So. Um, take that as you will obviously as you come to the highs of the range then shorts are more appealing as you come down longs are more appealing okay and that's just natural traders uh natural trading environment i suppose um so yeah well this is what i've always said like when bitcoin is in indecisive in the, the regards that you're in the middle of this range here okay so if you just we just simply put on a fib you can see you know you're sat at the 0.5 of the of the range so that literally is the middle it's not the great place to open a trade uh, so when it is like that what, what i always say i like to do trade altcoins and i want to cover uh icon here because this has been absolutely insane uh i've taken over 100 percent on this one i've been in and out in and out in and out you might say, Daniel, in your public uh, Twitter or on your public um, YouTube, you don't mention Icon. Well, this is one that I have been giving to the group. Uh, this was a chart of the week that was traded from the very lows down at the weekly level. 
at the 618 and then in in on top of that stream the following stream i gave another setup of trading it from the daily and um you know people as as you can see here was absolutely loving the payouts that they got from this um you know hitting targets so i've been on the icon for a very very long time now uh, you know since the lows um which is literally from that weekly from the high there as you can see a hundred percent but i have been in and out in and out in and out not just buying and holding it all the way that's not how i trade but um you know, for me, this is just like the just just such a nice chart. And I'm not going to go over like per se where this could possibly head because this this is one which has is, is not got too much resistance. But it's obviously so overextended. But I just want to like highlight to you the, the ways the, the way that technical analysis has worked here. So this is an educational piece, I suppose. And it's a case of like holding the weekly, flipping the weekly as support. You see the high time frame close above the level. You come up to your monthly, you reject, you come down to the low of your parallel channel. You move up to weekly. You then come back and test the old resistance of the parallel channel higher support. You come up to your weekly, you see a bit of consolidation before coming up to the daily. And this is then from yesterday now. Okay, from yesterday, what we've done here okay is from the low of that move up to the high let's zoom this in from the low of that move up to the high what you've done is you come down and you held the 618 as support if we come down to the lower term time frame hold that 618 as support and you've got another insane move to the upside um this also included with a resistance support flip here for you know continuation to the upside okay and you know that has just continued up overnight okay so while i was asleep <laughs> well you know nice to wake up to this um <laughs> because even from yesterday so that entry at the 618 yesterday that's another 30 percent in in a day less than a day um so like icon right now is on fire uh, you always have to be a little bit careful because what you're going to start seeing, okay, is for example, you're going to start seeing here on lower term time frames. You know, you can, um, well, if you're if if you follow me long enough, you know what I think of these sort of things, divergences. But um, you know, nevertheless, you've got like bearish divergences coming on here, so you know, um, just be aware it's a little bit overextended now. But I just wanted to like highlight to you all uh, why Icon has is literally like so 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 technical uh, and just a really really nice altcoin so um you know this is just a general bit of a you know um knowledge that i'll pass on that while bitcoin for me anyway is like you know not a appealing trade like i don't find it appealing to trade the middle of the range i'll trade the high and lows but the middle of the range i'm less interested in you know specifically scope trading okay um and the altcoins while this is happening you know are you know are on fire you know you just have to look at um you know another one i suppose a nice one today is like theta like you know th there's there's opportunities in these alts you just got to take them at the right time um and you you should do well um as long as you know what you're doing i suppose <laughs> um so yeah i just would like to, i just felt that that was beneficial to go through how that's traded technically well and how you can make opportunities of alts when bitcoin is range bound um so yeah that is me covering the most important resistance which for me literally is 9600 uh for me although you might not come down this low you never know you might not get such a retrace to be honest but if you do then you have to be looking at this 8800 8700 as you know really big support uh, and yeah, really taking it between those levels, high time frame, you know, trade where the probabilities are very much in your favor. And I feel at like those levels that you will have the probabilities in your favor. And, uh, you know, you should start making some successful trades. Again, not financial advice. You have to do what you ever feel is right. But um, for educational reasons, that's how I look at the chart. OK, um, so I want to uh, firstly say that's the end of the technical analysis and I want to move on to just something for a bit of a conclusion for myself. OK, so just a little bit of event uh, of, of a, just a conclusion. And I promise, OK, I promise this is going to be the last time I ever refer to any haters or trolls. And you're probably already clicking off because you don't want to hear me talk about this. And I fully appreciate that. And I understand. Uh, but for me, I just want to get this out of my chest, basically. Um, so as you all know, um, over the last few weeks, I have had relentless, absolutely relentless trolling for probably going on a, a month or two now. Um, you know, the things, uh, I'm not going to go through the list, but I've had relentless trolling, basically. Personal things that have been happening to me, as well as, you know, attacks of like DDoS attacks, impersonations, etc, etc, etc. It's been relentless. Um, and obviously it had negatively affected me for, you know, I, I wasn't expecting it to happen because all I do is put charts on a put, put charts on a website and for some reason people took great um dislike to that okay um so um yeah basically i was debating obviously uh ending twitter and youtube and just you know go into my group and that's it because it wasn't worth for me from what i could see like the appreciation um you know i just felt i was just full of trolls and it was like well you know why am i wasting my time doing this uh but then the response that the responses that i had from you all were just absolutely lovely and um yeah, I just want to go over a few things that I had noticed, okay, of, you know, where were, why were, why was I receiving these trolls, okay, so 
Um, firstly, um, oh yeah, there was the harmonic as well of, of, of what I posted yesterday. But, um, you know, this was for me pretty um, hilarious, actually, that um, when I actually was looking into, you know, who are the people trolling me here? It's a mixture of people that I've called out for incorrect technical analysis, as well as, um, as you know, people that I've called out, as, as well as people that are also running, uh, you know, other groups. So I feel that they... Uh, uh, you know, have a dislike to me because, in my opinion, as I've made very clear on Twitter before, I, you know, I, I feel, and I know this is big headed, but I do feel as if I, you know, at least one of the best up there in, in terms of the best traders on Twitter. And that's not even a hard thing to do because I feel the standard of Twitter traders is extremely low. Um, but yeah. That there's that thing I think people took a real dislike to when I when I say like things like this, and I kind of understand that. But um, you know, this is referring to a tweet um back that I put in what was this back in uh this you know middle of January where I was saying that this was a reaccumulation range. Okay, so for me, reaccumulation is obviously bullish. Okay, reaccumulation. You know, the alternative to this is distribution, which is bearish. But for me, this was still an opportunity to continue buying um you know Bitcoin, expecting higher prices. What happened? We obviously got higher prices. This was back at 8,600. We we sit at eight, nearly eight, uh, 9,500. So obviously, clearly, this was, I was correct with, you know, labeling this as accumulation, bullish accumulation, expecting higher prices. What was really, really funny is at the time, um, a big account, okay, and I, I feel, um, don't feel any shame in calling out this guy, to be honest, because this is a guy with nearly 20,000 followers uh, with totally incorrect technical analysis. Firstly, the Elliott Wave count is, 100% incorrect. This is the worst Elliott wave count I think I've ever seen from a big account. This is absolutely terrible. Okay, along with the fact that he's pointing out the declining volume inside of consolidation and trying to label that as distribution. Again, absolutely incorrect. So the whole chart basically is incorrect. The guy has 20,000 followers and had the nerve to say, print it and put it on your wall. This is classic distribution. I did reply to him saying, do you realize that, you know, basically I, I just pointed out that he was incorrect. And then maybe I went a little bit too far, <laughs> possibly, and saying, you know, this is why people lose money. You know, they, they follow these big accounts on Twitter that literally have no idea what they're doing. I mean, literally, that's the worst chart I've ever seen in my life. It was just all incorrect. And um, I, I think basically I, I maybe I was wrong in doing this, but I feel by calling someone out and saying their their technical analysis is incorrect, if they take offense to that, then is that, you know, is that my fault? Am I in the wrong for saying this person's incorrect? He has 20,000 followers. He has an influence. Am I wrong for pointing that out? I don't know. That's for you to decide, I suppose. Rhetorical question. But surprise, surprise, the person that came on to attack me, not the type of guy to attack others, but funnily enough, he attacked me after I had pointed him out for being incorrect. And I think this guy kind of nails it on the head. Um, with this comment and this comment that uh, obviously there had been a, a, a large disliking for me recently. And I think it's, you know, really, really likely that it's people from other paid groups, okay, that are just having a dislike for me. The fact that I have followed everyone on Twitter, I think was also <laughs> um, a little bit of people got annoyed by but basically just making up full, full on lies. There's just been a whole group of lies being done about me. This is this part isn't a lie because I will happily say that I feel <laughs> I feel as if I'm one, one of the best traders on Twitter and I have no shame in saying that, although it might be, be a bit ugly, but you know, that's just that. So if you get offended by these sort of things, then I'm sorry, but trading is all about competition, okay? There's winners and losers. And if you're not competitive, I don't actually think you're gonna do well in trading, so. Uh, but this sort of thing, using his fake accounts to promote himself, this is a lie. This is 100% swear on my mum's life, hand on heart. This is not me. I have not created this fake account. Uh, well, it's not even a fake account. This is a real person. I mean, do you really think I'm stupid enough if I even was to create a fake account that I would call it Chart Champ? I mean, that would, I mean, I don't know. But 100% hand on heart, this is not me. I'm not using a fake account to promote myself. That's an absolute lie. Uh, so the, the, the thing of just like the slander is just unreal. And of course, this is another guy that I've called out in the past for just having incorrect technical analysis. They are real low tier rubbish traders, in my opinion. And they got very offended by me calling them out and uh, go on to, of course, stir up a whole lot of problems for myself. Okay. Okay. Um, and then that goes on to uh, another people, you know, you have to remember that I have people creating fake accounts, okay? So this is obviously clearly a fake account, okay? So if you look at this, this is the, the you know, kind of one of the worst fake accounts uh, where he also then goes on to try and like, you know, basically sell my content, I suppose. Fake email addresses, just all fake, but obviously it looks like myself. Um, and people get the wrong impression that 
people that are creating fake accounts using my profile, using my name, and then people are incorrectly thinking it's me. But if you just look at the followers, for example, it's very clear it's not me. Why would I also be tweeting saying, uh, I'll offer you discount if you pay a, you know, just a total scam. Obviously, this is not me. Okay, and then people started saying I added them, you know, obviously um, I unfollowed everyone on Twitter. My reasonings for following everyone on Twitter is because I feel that Twitter is just full of real low standard of traders. Okay, and that's honest. Um, you know, you log on to Twitter, you've seen the same chart posted 20 times. And for me, it like negatively affected me because when you start seeing the same chart 20 times, you start thinking mm, maybe, maybe I'm looking at something incorrect here. You know, psychologically, it just does that as a human. Um, and, you know, I just had enough of it. I unfollowed everyone. Apparently, I added people to lists. That's obviously clearly not the case. Uh, I am not in any sort of list. The only list I have is for football, okay? And that's where I, I follow football. That's my only list that I have. Um, so, yeah, that's also another lie about me. Um, but, yeah, basically, it was just... Um it was just a whole a whole string of things that had been going on recently. Oh, this was nice, by the way, started a bull market. Um, and that, that came out to be true. And that was using Fibonacci time, by the way. But, yeah, I just wanted to end. I want to promise you all this is the last time I give any more time to trolls. In the future, I'm just going to instantly block them. I feel that everybody that's trolling me is for silly reasons either some big account has took a dislike to me and then funnily enough all of their followers which have never seen any of my content in their life suddenly become my biggest haters because the, the account that they like hates me um so it's just a, a a you know it's just become really crazy recently the amount of hate i've been getting and it's all stemming from people in my opinion jealous uh that i'm a good trader but i then came to you know you can kind of read this. I'm not leaving. I'm not giving up. This is the last time I ever give to haters. I promise you that. Uh, no more time. Instant blocks for everybody from now on. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for the positive comments. You know, when I was debating leaving, I think I, you know, like, like many have told me that the trolls are in full voice. The haters with their lies and slander you know, is just our own in full voice. You know, the amount of just random things that I've received recently, apparently I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm making up accounts. I have, you know, X, Y, and Z, just complete lies, zero evidence, of course, uh, because there is none as well as, um, you know, and it's the it's the 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 you know the supporters that I have that are the quiet ones I suppose and they're, they're just loving the each video that I make and um, you know these sort of comments are why I wanted to continue basically as well as you know all of the comments that I received under this of just really 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 nice positive comments you know so thank you everybody so much for that that really does mean uh, a lot to me. And, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, I'm, I'm, I've decided I'm not going to end Twitter. I'm not going to end YouTube. I'm going to continue because I don't want to let the trolls win, essentially. And no more time is going to be given to them. I've already given them probably 10 minutes of my time on this video. And I feel um, that is a waste of time. And I know that's a waste of time. But I just wanted to give some clarity and conclusion to it all because that for me is now the end of it. I'm not going to mention it again. My videos are going to be only technical analysis. And that's what I'm going to focus on. That's what I'm good at. So, um yeah, there's that. So I just wanted to end by saying thank you, everybody, so much. This is a Wolf of Wall Street reference. I hope that you got that one. Um, <laughs> I'm not leaving. Uh, I just want to say, yeah, everything for me now is just positivity. And, uh, yeah, thank you once again, everybody. I hope that you do appreciate my work. And, um, yeah, you can... Oh, yeah, this was really hilarious. Somebody made that for me. I love that. Uh, but, yeah, I hope that you, under, you, know, you can appreciate that some of this. And, uh, yeah, just want to let you know that that's the end for me uh, on that sort of boundary i hope you can you know just think when you see these sort of lies and slander what's their motive for hating me because i can guarantee there's a motive behind it it isn't because it's it's true they have a, an alternate they have a they have a motive to to take a dislike into me basically um probably because i'm so good at trading and they don't like that that's my opinion and that's how i'm going to end the video thank you once again everybody so much indeed i hope that you have an amazing week uh an amazing uh you know an amazing time trading this i am going to um you know probably still stick <laughs> trading my altcoins um but yeah i wouldn't be surprised to see this push down okay so i i, I mean in, in my opinion i would like to see a push down uh, before coming back and retesting the highs so we'll see if that does happen off of that weekly resistance and we can then see the uh, potential 5-0 pattern play out here uh, on bitcoin which would be very very nice indeed seeing the d okay this is obviously a bearish shark harmonic you have to remember so if this is the bearish shark then we would see a decrease in price but um you know reclaim of that weekly and we can you know change perspective but uh yeah thank you everybody once again hope that you, i didn't bore you too much on this one from now on everything back to normal cheers and have a brilliant day thank you bye